I still can hardly believe this even happened to me. The teen says he was out for a run late last month when he was blindsided by the attack. A knife-wielding suspect stabbed him and took off. This guy from the other way crosses over and he just looks at me with this like just had this this kind of crazy look on his face and then he just stuck me with the knife. Neighbors called 911. He called his parents. Max spent two days in the ICU. All of this just before the start of his senior year. That's probably the hardest part, I think, that we just have no idea if it was a botched robbery that was botched so badly that the robber forgot to ask for, for you know, give me your phone and your money or if it was a disturbed person. Max and his dad put up these flyers all along the trail near Washington Boulevard and I-66 warning people of what happened. Police are actively combing through security cameras to see if there's any clear view of the attacker. If he's going to do this once, I feel like there's a good chance that he could do this again. Max's father says they've lived in the Arlington area for nearly 20 years and use the trail often and they had never felt unsafe until the attack this month.